Welcome all in the beauty world of pharmacy. In today's lecture, I am going to conducting the information about different screening methods of the anti-cancer drugs. Then before going to study, you must know about the cancer. Then what is a cancer? Cancer is a disease which is characterized by the uncontrolled proliferation of the cell that have transformed from the normal cell of the body. Proliferation means the size of the cell increases. The normal cell of the body get proliferated and their number increases gradually. This stage is called as cancer and the cell is known as cancerous cell. Then there are two factors that affects or causes cancer. First one is external factor and second one is internal factors. Then what are the external factors? Chemicals, radiations, viruses and the lifestyles are the external factors. Internal factors are the hormones, immune conditions and the inherited mutations that are present in our body. Then what are the factors that causes or contribute to the cancer all over the world? First factor that is the most important factor which is related to the diet that is unbalanced diet 30 to 35 percent of the total population causes cancer due to the unbalanced diet. 30 percent of the world total population causes cancer due to the smoking and alcohol use. 80 to 20 percent of the population causes cancer due to the chronic infection that they have already present. Hormonal changes in the body causes cancer in the 80 to 20 percent of the total population of the world. 2 percent of the occupational and 1 percent of the pollution causes cancer all over the world. These are the major factors that causes, con causes cancer all over the world. There are 92 approved anti-cancer drugs that are available today but more than 200 different tumor entities effective therapies for the most of the tumors are lacking. Out of 92 registered drugs, 17 are considered as oncologists to be more broadly applicable and 12 additional agents are perceived and having certain advantages in some clinical setting. That's why we have to need we have the need to study the screening methods of the anti-cancer drugs. Then what is the need for the novel anti-cancer drugs? There are four reasons why we use anti-cancer drugs novel. First one is the development of multi-drug resistance in patient. For the development of multi-drug resistance in a patient, it is necessary to do a screening practices. Long-term treatment with cancer drugs is also associated with the severe side effects. Third one is the cytotoxic drugs have the potential to be very harmful to the body unless they are very specific to the cancer cells. New drugs that will be more selective for the cancer cells. These are the reasons that why we use screening methods for the cancer cells. Then how many models are there? There are two mainly methods used used to study the screening methods in animals. First one is in vitro and second one is in vivo. In vitro methods are seven. First one is a tetrazoleum salt assay. Second one is a sulforodamine B assay. Third one is a 3H thymidine uptake, dye inclusion test, clonogenic test. Sixth one is a cell counting assay. And last seventh one is a morphological assay. These are the seven techniques or the methods which are present in in vitro studies. In vivo studies contains five methods that are carcinogen induced models. Second one is a viral infection models. Third one is a transplantation models. Fourth one is a genetically engineered mouse models. And last fifth one is a in vivo hollow fiber assay. Then first of all, we will study the in vitro methods of the in vitro screening methods of the anti-cancer drugs. First one is a tetrazoleum salt assay. Tetrazoleum salt assay is a very sensitive, quantitative, and the reliable colorimetric assay that is that measures the viability, proliferation, and activation of the cells. This assay is based on the capacity of mitochondrial dehydrogenase enzyme. 
the amount of foram for formazine produced is directly proportional to the cell number in range of cell lines this is the procedure or the method by which this method is performed first one is it is performed to determine the enzymatic properties this test is performed to determine the enzymatic properties second cells from the particular cell lines in log phase of the growth are trypsinized it is counted in a hemocytometer and adjusted multi well plates 92 well plates are arranged then what is a hemocytometer hemocytometer is a instrument that is used to count the blood cells in greek language hemo means cell uh, hemo means blood and cyto means cell the cells are treated with a various concentration of the drug for specific duration of time after mtt dye is added in each well and plates are incubated at 37 degrees celsius for the 4 hours in a co2 incubator here incubation takes at the 37 degrees celsius for the time of 4 hours in nco2 incubator the plates are taken out from the one incubator and are placed in a dark blue colored for mazen cluster are thoroughly dissolved in dmso at a room temperature the plates are then read on a elisa liter at 570 d nanometer to calculate the percent percent cell viability with respect to the control is calculated in this way first method is completed here is a diagram of hemocytometer that is used for the cell count hemocytometer the most common routine method for cell counting which is efficient and accurate is with the use of hemocytometer second method we will study in the next lecture i hope you will get understand the first method in vitro thank you